Hey guys, in case you missed it, here's our favorite set from our new special, The Roast of Captain America. Enjoy, there's language. Thank you for hosting tonight, Iron Man. You're doing a great job. I love how mean your jokes are, because it makes me feel less guilty about killing your parents. <laughs> I'm kidding, I do not feel guilty. <laughs> Natasha, what are you even doing here? Your only power is being kind of okay at shooting people. I can't wait for the next movie when you try to do that head scissor thing to Thanos and he just throws you into the f***ing sun. <laughs> Seriously, look at this deus of idiots. No wonder Deadpool outgrossed every one of us. <laughs> Dream Journal, Furnace, Stonewall, Freight Car. These are not my trigger words, I'm just listing things that are more interesting to look at than Batman v Superman. <laughs> that was the first movie I saw after three years of cryogenic stasis and I still fell asleep. <laughs> I wish Lex Luthor's goons had killed your mom. It's just, she seems like a nice lady and doesn't deserve to be stuck in these films. Also, I'm a sucker for mom killing. Hey, Tony. <laughs> Superman, I've never seen a franchise hate fun as much as yours does, and I have literally never smiled. <laughs> Suicide Squad was supposed to be funny like Guardians of the Galaxy, but it got about as many laughs as 12 years a slave. <laughs> Red Skull's confused by that joke because that was his favorite comedy of the year. <laughs> You dumb Nazi bitch. How are you going to say you're part of the master race and then get beat by a Rubik's Cube? You look like someone dipped the tip of their dick in hot Cheeto dust. <laughs> Hulk is here. Guys, the Hulk is a legitimately mentally ill person. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry is not a superhero catchphrase. It's the background noise on a 911 domestic abuse call. <laughs> Black Panther's here too. Black Panther is a trailblazer though. He's the first black character to get his own movie in the MCU. He's also the first and only superhero whose costume includes puka shells. <laughs> I have no transition to get to Vision. I'm not actually saying that, I'm just quoting Joss Whedon's script notes for Age of Ultron. <laughs> Vision, there is literally no point to you other than to remind people that we added a robot to the team before we added an Asian person. <laughs> but let's talk about the man of the hour. My best friend, Steve Rogers. Let him hear it. Now, a lot of people tonight have liked to joke about how we're butt buddies and we probably bang each other all the time, so let's clear that up right now. Of course we do. <laughs> I let this man plow me like a snowdrift blocking an emergency room. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Look at this man. He's like a Greek god wrapped himself in an American flag and then covered himself in baby oil. He has muscles a human being should not have. Seriously, did you guys see when Steve came out of that super soldier machine? My cock got so big we had to put purple shorts on it. <laughs> if you saw that scene and you didn't get hard, you're lying to yourself. It, it just means your penis doesn't work, okay? It's not even a sexual thing, it's just your dick acknowledging the alpha male in the room. <laughs> I'm not ashamed of it. Sexuality is a spectrum, and mine is somewhere between straight and I went bobbing for plums in Steve's ass last week. <laughs> Would you like to know more? <laughs> Steve has opened my asshole so much Thor can use it as a portal to Asgard. My anus has been stretched further than Robert Downey Jr.'s Disney contract. <laughs> I, don't, 
don't know if there are any supervillains still trying to unlock the secrets to Dr. Erskine's formula, but I have so much super soldier DNA inside of me that I might be a national security risk. <laughs> Steve, I love you, and I want you inside of me, and I am, wow, just now realizing that this is probably a conversation that you and I should have had one-on-one -on -one and in private. I apologize. I love you, man. Give it up for Captain America, you guys. <laughs> the fuck was that, Joe? Cringe, cringy? am I right? Was cringe? it cringy? People keep saying I, it was cringy. I, I thought cringy. it was cringy. I thought it was amazing. Yeah. Round of applause. Thank Joe Star is the Winter Soldier. Thank you. Uh, if you liked watching me fulfill my lifelong dream of flirting a lot with Casper Van Dien, as much as I enjoyed doing it, you can watch the whole roast uncensored, uncut on Screen Junkies Plus. And if you register now, you can see it for free. And we want to bring you guys like a bunch more of these roasts. So tell us in the comments below what character you want to see us roast next, because we want to do a lot more of these, but we want to know who you want to see get the kind of treatment that Joe just gave Cap. I think it'd be cool to get Deadpool. Oh, Deadpool. Kind of what if we got Ryan Reynolds to actually roast people? That'd be pretty Ooh. crazy. Maybe Click the video. Hashtag yell at Click Ryan. Click the video so it gets popular. We'll get Ryan Reynolds to do a roast of Deadpool. No pressure, Ryan. <laughs> but if you want to, like, call us. What am I doing to this video? It feels yeah. really dirty. It's covered up by a box, right? <laughs> oh, I'm fingering a box. That's even worse. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> <laughs>